I can say this. How about this? Let's do a test. All right. Okay. Um, everybody state your birthday. And the first person who has a birthday in the month that I'm thinking of will get a prize. So everybody, real quick, give me, give me your birthday. And, 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 and somebody's going to get a prize based on when your birthday is. I'm thinking about a month. It's, it's a certain month. I'm not going to tell you. Uh, I will tell you after, uh, after I, I see the, the month come up. When it comes up, I'm going to say that's the month I was thinking about, and that person's going to get a prize. All right. Tracy says July 11th. Delante says February. Um, I see Jackie says August. Uh, Christopher is asking about coins. Okay. He's, he, Christopher ain't paying attention. Uh, Stephen Jones says January. Okay. So the winner has been selected. The winner is Stephen. Stephen's birthday is in January. So January was the month I was thinking about because my cousin Gary, his birthday is in January. Love you, Gary, if, I, if, I, if, you, if you listen. Um, so here's, here's, what, uh, here's, here's what your prize is going to be, Stephen. Your prize is going to be a million dollars. A million dollars, and this is all in an, this is all an example. So don't think, don't get all happy, man, because you, I, you know, you know, I'm just talking right now. Um, but your prize is going to be a million dollars, and um, I'm going to put it uh, in a special account, and you can't access the money uh, for a year, right? So now, Stephen is a millionaire, right? Just literally, just like that, I made Steven into a millionaire because now Steven's like, oh, shoot, Dr. B that told me I want a million dollars. I got a million dollars in my account. Now, think about this, right? Now, let's pretend like this example is, is real life. If Steven really trusts me, if he really believes that I have this money, then Stephen will go through life as if he's a millionaire. Now imagine if I was a imagine if I was um I don't know Steve Harvey, right? Steve Harvey got that kind of money, right? He could give you a million dollars, and 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 so uh, and you know, he's on the Family Feud. So so the Family Feud and Steve Harvey have told him that he's going to have a million dollars. So now Stephen can go and he can do things differently because he's got this commitment from me, right? Uh, so Steve can go to um, his friend. Uh, he can find something. Let's say he can go to uh, Julian. I uh, see Julian Hankins is there. So he can go to Julian and say, hey, man, uh, I was on Dr. Boyce's podcast and you saw, like, I won the Dr. Boyce birthday prize and I'm owed a million dollars. And so he can say to Julian, hey, man, so since I'm owed this money and since it's documented, it, can you loan me? Um, can you loan me some money until the check comes in, right? And so Julian's gonna be like, "Yeah, man, I know Dr. I trust. I trust that. I trust his business. I trust him. I know he's gonna pay. So yeah, I'll loan you two hundred k against that, right? So he's got real money off of somebody based on a promise, based on an illusion that ain't even real. So literally, both of them." are walking around thinking that something's going to happen that isn't going to occur. And in fact, let's say that, let's say that uh, it, when, when, when he goes and he talks to Julian, he says, give me 200 grand uh, as a loan against this thing. And for the 200,000, I'll give you, um, I'll give you uh, my car or something like that. Right. So, and, and then he says, well, what's the car worth? And he says, well, it's a, it's actually worth half a million dollars. And let's say that Julian believes that, right? So Julian's thinking that he just had a come up. I spent 200,000 on a half million dollar car, but that might be a lot, right? It depends on how much he trusts the brother. The, I can't remember the brother's name who won the, the competition. I gotta, I'm sorry. I forgot about it, but, but you know, so, so if he believes him, then he's going to say, okay, I just had an increase in my net worth of $300,000 because I just got a car that's worth half a million. I only paid two hundred k for it. So he's living on the lot. And then uh, the original brother who won the competition, he's thinking he's got a million dollars because uh, I told him a million dollars is coming. So that's a lot, right? So ultimately, do you see how that can keep going? How one person can make another trade with another person with another person with another person based on nothing but a lie. So what happens on the day where I suddenly reveal that I don't have the million dollars or I just choose not to pay? Well, then it becomes a house of cards. It becomes a domino effect. Now the first person can't pay back the second person. He bought 200K from him. He got 200K. So, so let's say he borrowed the, the money from him under the expectation he was going to get the money from me. Well, the money from me is not coming, so the other person isn't getting paid. So then if whatever obligations he's made, he can't fulfill those obligations. He might have went out and got a couple of babies, mamas, or whatever, all for this thing, and then he's going to have the money to afford to take care of his kids. So now he can't afford to fulfill his obligations, and the list goes on. 
on and on and on, right? So ultimately, that's how an economy crumbles like a house of cards, and that's how that's why trust is so important in an economy. Because if you don't have trust, then you don't have transactions, and also the trust must be validated by truth. You trust alone isn't enough. Trust will get the party started, but it's the truth that really brings it all back home. Right? So, because you, you can trust all day, but if what you trust isn't trustworthy, then what's going to happen is that at some point you're going to be, uh, you're, you're going to be hurt. Right? So, BitConnect uh, is a Ponzi scheme that is built off of this massive amount of trust that comes from a number of factors, largely from the fact that the original investors seem to be making money. They, some of them were cashing out and actually getting real money. Some of them never cashed out, but they had paper money. They had a promise that BitConnect said, in your account, you got $20,000. So, they're thinking, oh, I'm $20,000 richer. But really, no, you're not. Because the minute that the house of cards fell down, BitConnect the value of their little coin dropped 90%. And on top of that, all the financial obligations they had to you are totally null and void. So everything that you thought was real was nothing but monopoly money. That's all it was. So when you invest, you must understand these dynamics so that you don't end up in situations where when a house of cards comes down, you're going to get screwed. You don't want to puck yourself. All right. So anyway, uh, I'm going to answer a couple of more questions. Um, Dr. McGee says crypto's in its infancy and not going anywhere. Stay the course. Uh, not bad. 